the broad uh, democratic movement against the extreme right didn't grow out of nowhere. And neither did what we've come to uh, call the socialist moment. Both grew out of the class and democratic struggle. Today, these two struggles, class struggle and the battle for democracy are intersecting and powerful. And I think you got to say even explosive ways. It was the women's movement that greeted the Trump inauguration with literally millions of protesters all across the country. And it was the immigrant rights protest at airports in opposition to the Muslim ban that dealt the first legal and political blow in Trump's first 100 days. And then it was the workers strike wave, right? Beginning with the teachers and then the, the auto workers uh, and it's continuing, uh, Amazon fighting for decent wages and working uh, conditions. And now the fight against racism, against police violence has given rise to an all people's uprising that has shaken the foundation of the Republic. Fighting anti-black racism, indeed fighting uh, racism against all people of color and the unique role of the African-American people in the struggle to advance democracy is once again making itself powerly, powerfully felt. Policing and everything surrounding it have become central issues in the election campaign. It's literally uh, Trump's law and order versus our right to breathe. Battle lines that, 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 that have the potential uh, to reshape not only policing and the criminal justice system, but the country's approach to racial justice in general. The people's demands will not go away. Measures like uh, maintaining a national database on police killings seem modest. More importantly, community control, uh, along with defunding the police departments have come front and center in addition the time is way past due to get rid of racial profiling, uh, three strikes you out, uh, trying teenagers as adults, uh, the remains of broken window, uh, 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 stop and frisk policing, uh, and, and let's not forget uh, sentencing disparities for drug use. The time has, has, has come to consider radical reform of the prison system. Here, uh, uh, prison abolition uh, is a growing demand. Uh, some say oh, it's not realistic, but it's it, it's gripping the imagination of 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 of, of millions of, of of people. More short short term, COVID nineteen is spreading like wildfire in the penitentiaries, making early release and alternatives to incarceration a growing demand. You know, if Trump can, uh, if Trump's cronies uh, like Paul Manafort and, and, and uh, Mr. Cohen and others can, can, can be let go, get early release, then they gotta let my people go too. You know what I'm saying? 